Welcome to Le Grand Voyage, the Chateau Malartic La Graviere. There are big lions and a small one, an echo and a prelude. There's an admiral, a dame, men called Jacques and Antoine, as well as a woman called Diane. And there are several architectural features too, including ramparts, a cloister, some pagodas, and a famous red pavilion. But there are fewer than 10 chateaux. This is the world of Bordeaux's second wine names. Second wines are a slippery concept with no hard and fast rules, but often wonderfully different drinking. In fact, some people argue that they shouldn't really be called second wines at all. They're not second best, they're different. They can even make that point in the name. Chateau Palmer call their other wine alter ego, from the Latin other self. In fairness, the idea of the second wine did start out as wines that were second best. It's usually traced back to the second wine, the Deuxième Van of Chateau Margaux, made periodically as far back as the 17th and 18th centuries. The winemakers recognised that quality wasn't so much what you put in the wine as what you left out. But that leaves the question of what do you do with the grapes that don't go in the first wine? It doesn't mean the grapes are bad. They're just not right. You might have too much Merlot for the blend, or the Cabernet Sauvignon from some plots might not have all the qualities that you'd like. Or you might have some newly planted vines. You really want to wait a few years until they're fully established before you include them in the blend of your Grand Vin. Or it may be that some plots you own just don't produce the sort of wine that you're looking for. Which gives us the main constituents and different types of second wine in Bordeaux. Some will be a blend and assemblage of wines from younger vineyards and maybe some lighter grapes from more established plots. That's why most second wines are ready for drinking earlier with a lighter, more open structure, perhaps more immediate fruit. Some wines are made from the same plots year after year because the winemakers know that these plots will always make wine that needs to be treated differently, perhaps with less new oak because it doesn't have the heft and the density to cope with intense wood flavours, or a different winemaking regime to bring out its perfume and a better balance in the mouth. La Reserve de la Comtesse is perhaps the first named second wine It made its debut from Chateau Pichon Longueville in 1874. It's only made periodically and was possibly a way of promoting the brand of the Grand Vin. Arguably the first real second wine was Claude de Marquis in 1902 from Chateau Léville Lascars. Although in a sense it's not really a second wine at all, as it's just a different wine. Today the Petit Lyon de Marquis de Lascars is the estate's real second wine. One of Baron Philippe Rothschild's many innovations at Chateau Mouton Rothschild was Carouard de Mouton in 1927 although it changed its name in 1930 to Mouton Cadet, and today it's called Le Petit Mouton, while Carouard has become the name of the second wine of Lafitte Rothschild. The real growth in second wines, and indeed third wines, came in the 1980s. Competition grew as Bordeaux enjoyed greater success in international markets. Chateau became more selective in that assemblage stage, the blending of their wines. That meant only the finest grapes made it into the Grand Vin, and there was more wine left over for the second and indeed third wines. The names, perhaps a bit like the wines, can be a little bit more whimsical. The charm of Labory, the brio of Cantonac Brown, the pilgrims of Lafon Rocher. Voices often feature. Lassi Stucasse has a murmur, while Chateau Magdalene has songs. Chateau Clerc Milan felt that the spirit of their second wine was best captured by a pastorel. It's an old French lyric form where a poet knight meets a coy shepherdess who then bests him in a battle of wits. Different wines suit different days. Some days only the best will do, the grandest, the biggest, the most intense. But there are other days when something fresher, juicier, something more whimsical is what you really want. That's not really why Bordeaux's second wines first came about, but that's what they've become, a delicious style in their own right.
Join me again tomorrow when we'll have another story of Bordeaux's wines, first and second time round, from Le Grand Voyage with Chateau Malartic La Graviere. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.